Today, we're going to read a nonfiction book called Tarantula. So here's the title, Tarantula. That's a feature of nonfiction text. Okay, so here is our table of contents. That's another feature of nonfiction texts. So it tells us the introduction, where tarantulas live, hard, hairy bodies, eating and being eaten, how safe are tarantulas, and the glossary. And of course, it tells us exactly where to find those topics. Introduction. So there's our subheading. What's huge and hairy and has fangs that can kill? It's the biggest spider in the world, the tarantula. Look, here's some bold text. I bet that those words might be in the glossary at the end. Where tarantulas live. Tarantulas live in warm places around the world. Many live in forests and others live in deserts. More than 50 kinds of tarantulas live in the United States. Some tarantulas live in holes in the ground. Others live under logs or in trees. Here's a picture and a little did you know caption. Hard hairy bodies. This Ecuadorian brown velvet tarantula is molting or pushing out of its old skin. So here's a diagram or a label, tarantula and old skin. So it's labeling what those are. Like insects and other spiders, tarantulas have a hard covering on their body. As they grow, the coverings get too tight and splits down the middle. After a tarantula pushes out of the old skin, its new skin gets hard. A tarantula is covered with hairs. The hairs sense heat, cold, and things that move. Other hairs near its mouth help a tarantula taste and smell. Stiff hairs with points grow on its stomach and back. A tarantula can sting enemies with these hairs. Ooh, look, there's a close-up. A close-up of the tarantula. The legs of a tarantula have little claws with hairs. The hairs help the tarantula hold on when it climbs. Two little arms near its mouth have sharp parts. The tarantula holds and cuts food with them. Ooh, here's the eyes. And look, we can read this caption about the photo uh, about tarantulas having eight eyes. Ooh, look at this fancy diagram. That's another feature of nonfiction texts. Did you know tarantulas do not weave webs, but they make silk? Tarantulas that live in holes underground cover the walls with silk. Tarantulas that live in trees use silk to make tents or tunnels. Eating and being eaten. Tarantulas rest during the day and come out at night to hunt. They eat insects, frogs, lizards, bats, mice, and small snakes. They also eat spiders, even other tarantulas. To catch prey, a tarantula sits very still and waits. When an animal comes near, the tarantula jumps and jabs its fangs into it. Venom shoots into the animal and makes it stop moving. Look, more bold text. The tarantula drags the animal back home. It uses its jaws and little arms to cut up the animal. It split, spits juices onto the pieces, which turn it to mush. Then the tarantula sucks up a tasty meal. Ooh. You might think tarantulas are too big to be hunted. Not true. The tarantula hawk. A big wasp hunts tarantulas as food for its young. A female wasp sping, spin, stings a tarantula, which then stops moving. The wasp lays one egg on the tarantula's body. When the young insect come out, comes out, it feeds on the tarantula. How safe are tarantulas? Most people are scared of tarantulas because they're so big. Tarantulas are harmless if you leave them alone. Some tarantulas are slow and calm. Others are fast and looking a fight, so don't mess with them. Did you know many people keep tarantulas as pets? Certain kinds are safe if you learn how to handle them. People are bigger, a bigger danger to tarantulas than any other threat. These amazing spiders are important to the balance of nature. They deserve to be protected. Oh, look, another feature of non-fiction text. It's a glossary. So look, all of our bold words are here with definitions. All right, thank you so much for listening and have fun looking for your own non-fiction features in the text that you read.